What's going on guys? This is Simon from SG and in today's video we're just going to learn a couple tricks to move the Yoast Metavox lower on the page. So right here it's showing up um, if I'm editing a post like right after the post um, but if you're editing a product or another post um, it can get annoying as I see this right here before all my product data. So how do we move this Yoast Meta box to the bottom of the page? So I wanna move this all the way down here to the very end. Well, we can use the free code snippets plugin. So I'm gonna to go to snippets and I'm gonna add a new snippet and I'll put that free code snippets plugin in the description box below as well. So I just wanna say move Yoast to bottom. And I'm gonna post this snippet and I'm gonna click save changes and activate it. So now if I come back to um, a product that I edit or another post, I can see that this Yoast meta box is at the very bottom of when I'm editing my product or editing another post in WordPress or, or WooCommerce. So this, is, this can come in handy um, for others and Let's say I come back and I deactivate this snippet, this Yoast, move Yoast to bottom right here. And I wanna come back to a product and edit it. So with the snippet deactivated, Yoast is back up um, at the very top. And obviously I can move this down right here, but this is only gonna be for me as a user. So if I do it like this with the snippet deactivated, that's great for me, but if I go to another administrator user, so for example, if I switch to um, another administrator user and I go to um, you know, a product and edit it, that administrator user is gonna see Yoast you know, right away, right? So he sees it again at the very top and it can just get annoying. So if we wanna do it for all of our users on the site, you know, so this is the other user, um, we gotta make sure the snippet is activated. So if I activate it again, and then I'm still impersonating the other administrator user, user using the user switching plugin, which I also can link in the description box below. Um, but with the snippet again activated, um, Yoast SEO meta box will always be at the bottom. So, that is just using the code snippets plugin and this, you know, this function to, you know, return the meta box priority lower down the page. You can also put this in your functions.php file, but the code snippets plugin just makes it easier if you don't want to touch, you know, editing files through SSH or SFTP or, you know, WP file manager, etc. So. That's it for today, guys. If you got value out of this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up, give me a like, and all the links can be found in the description box below. And another quick thing with Yoast, especially in WooCommerce, if you're editing products and you don't like you know, all this extra stuff, you can easily come to screen options and kind of clean this up right here just to make things more organized and hopefully make things more efficient for you when you're working with your WooCommerce site and WordPress site. So that's it for today. Have a great rest of your day and see you guys in the next tutorial. Peace.